What's happening guys? This is Dylan from Fitness 101. And I just wanted to show you guys my morning commute to the gym today. Uh, as you can see, I live way out in the middle of nowhere. And uh, we got ourselves a little snowstorm going on. And uh, I figured this is as good of time as any to talk about making justifications for things that you don't want to do. Um, I mean, for me, I love bodybuilding. I love going to the gym. So a snowstorm is never going to get in my way. I mean, unless it's absolutely insane, apocalyptic snowstorm. But it's not going to get in my way of doing what I love. What's difficult in life is when you have things that you don't want to do and you're dreading them and you're thinking about having to do those things and then you start to make justifications to yourself about why you shouldn't do it. And for a lot of people, going to the gym is one of them. A lot of people get to a point in their life where um, they've really gone far into the side of unhealthy, you know, maybe you put on a lot of weight, maybe your body isn't functioning well anymore and the gym is intimidating. And, and these people, well, I mean, I did it at the beginning too, will make justifications for why not to go to the gym. And I realized that most justifications we make, not only to uh, avoid going to the gym, but everything else in life, everything else that is hard, that we have to sacrifice the now for the later, these sorts of things, um, we tend to try and avoid. And we do that by making these, these justifications. We say things like, you know, I'm going through a really hard time right now. I don't think I'm gonna make it into work. You know what I mean? And then you start with this like internal monologue on reasons why that it's justified for you to stay home. And if you really were to poke and prod at those reasons, they won't hold up to scrutiny. And most of the time, this is the case. There's very few times in life where you are actually stopped, you're actually being refrained, restrained from doing something that needs to get done. And uh, I've developed this kind of question I ask myself sometimes when I start to catch on to this internal monologue this kind of like self-pity, self-loathing that you do when you're really trying to get away from something and you're trying to sidestep the guilt that comes along with that. And the question I ask myself is, if I absolutely had to, could I? If I absolutely had to go to work today, could I? And often the answer is, well, yeah, I could. I could get in the truck, I could pick myself up, I could reserve all the terrible thoughts that are eating at me today and I could go to work. It's kind of, uh, it's difficult to ask that question to yourself because it's, you're really introducing the reality aspect of it. You're realizing that, I mean, if somebody's on the outside looking in, they know that you could get the job done, that you could be there. And they probably know that you're making justifications to yourself in order not to. And I mean, sometimes it works. Sometimes you could sidestep the guilt and go on with your life and forget about these cheap excuses you made. But ultimately, when you sit down and you really think about your behavior, you're not gonna be proud of these moments. So really, there are very few things that should get in your way of doing what you need to do in life. Not even what you need to do. I mean, it's a problem for some people even doing what they wanna do. People will tell you, you know, Oh, I really want to, you know, get back to school and and you know really study something and make something of myself. Well, if you want to do it, that is, I mean, 85% of the issue right there is whether or not you want to do it or not. I mean, the rest I mean, it's so much easier if you want to do it. You just have to put one foot in front of the other and just show up. Um, I read this book called Turning Pro and uh, The War of Art by Stephen Pressfield, and that's one of the biggest things is is when you have to do something or when you want to do something just show up if you show up then the job is going to get done and this is basically this is the case the vast majority of the time and to make justifications based on the fact that if you show up you know you still might not get done you still might might, might not achieve what you want to achieve that's bullshit but anyways guys I am fitting to hit the gym and I got probably a half an hour commute ahead of me. So thanks for tuning into this level, higher level thinking episode and we'll talk to you guys next time.